Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Or is it good morning, good afternoon, good evening? Anyway, wherever you are in the world, hello. <sighs> hello, fashion sewers. My outfit for today is black and white. And if you're new to my channel, hello. And if you enjoy sewing tutorials and refashioning of old or even new clothing, consider subscribing. And let's get back to the outfit. Yes, I'm wearing sunglasses today, only for this video, because it is pouring down with rain. It is damp, dark, and yeah, it's it's a bit cold. I've literally been up a few hours now and I didn't put the heating on, but it eventually got to me because my fingers are frozen. <laughs> so um, yeah, I won't be needing these today. I'm not going to put them in my hair because my hair doesn't need it. And yeah, so this is my outfit, black and white today, monochrome colours. And it is a jacket that I haven't made this jacket, but I have refashioned the blouse underneath it and the pants. Yes, I have design patterned and sewn those. So it's the white jacket. This is what I like about this jacket. Are oh, these sleeves. Can you see? Yeah, these sleeves are so gorgeous. Um, I have worn this last summer, this outfit. I believe it's with a different black blouse that I have refashioned. Um, and I think I wore them with these same pants which have got hip pockets in them um, and I've styled it a bit differently as regards accessories I believe um, but yeah um, so what I have done this time around I have taken a collar out so there is the collar that is sitting on top of the jacket collar and also the cuffs, I've turned the cuffs back onto the jacket as well. So it kind of gives the illusion that sleeves are a little bit shorter but um, it's also making the added statement that I've personalised it myself so that there is this strong contrast that is within the white as well and it has a black button. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the outfit, there's just one little detail I don't like, which I'll show you in a minute. But because, you know, we're still in lockdown um, to a certain extent, and, um, you know, it isn't really going to bother me too much. But if I wasn't, I probably would have changed the bag. Um, but I'll show you that in a minute. So, yeah, this is my outfit for today. So, the jewelry that I have on is this gorgeous necklace and silver earrings so it's silver and black is my jewelry it's the only jewelry i've got and i was going to put some rings on and um, my black rings but no i decided not to and yeah so and i've got these shoes i think you may have seen these before yeah i think you might be able to. i'm not sure if i wore it with this outfit last time i wore this outfit but what i should be wearing is wellies <laughs> i should be wearing wellies and boots um, but this weather is it's just it's throwing it down, it really is pouring it down. So yeah, let me just show you the bottom half. Okay, so this is what's bothering me a little bit. Because I'm in black and white and silver jewellery, this is gold. Um and I think I'm just <laughs> nitpicking. Um but no, it it does I do like it because it's got this black trim around the bag that picks up with the black in my outfit um, but the gold isn't too bad it's not too bad and like I said you've seen this shirt before it's a split sleeve let me just show you oh gosh let me just take my jacket off oh I do have a video sort of for this and I'll link that below so it's a split sleeve Gets a lot of wear this um, jacket and um, this blouse, I should say. Uh, I do like it, yeah. It's a 
I think it'd be a blouse I'll have in my collection for many years to come, as with most of my clothes, really. And these tapered pants, like I said, they've got hip pockets. They do have a video tutorial for hip pockets. I'll link that below. And I do need to make a new pair because these are very old. And yeah, my shoes. And that's it. My second outfit of the week, and I'm sticking with the theme of black and white all week. And what I'm wearing are two refashion projects. The top is a shirt I've been fashioned about 18 months ago. Same with the skirt, roughly. Um, it is two shirts. It's the reason why I've got this such a full peplum that's going on here. I'll give you a twirl. And as you can see, <laughs> there's a single button here. And I do have a tutorial for both of these techniques. So like I said, it is a full peplum top. And these cargo pants um, is now a skirt, <laughs> and a pencil skirt with a slit, and it's, yeah, it's good, it's a snug fit, i definitely give myself that, yeah, it's very much a snug fit, but I can walk in it, and yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's a nice refreshing outfit, and I'm wearing it with uh, heels, um, slim backs, as they call them, I should have put black toe, um, polish on my toenails, but I was a bit too lazy. And the jewelry that I have on is a black choker, and I needed to put a necklace on with that because it just had added to the drama of the outfit. I popped my collar up, and I'm wearing black rings and black earrings, asymmetrical earrings, and the bag that I'm going for. Not that I'm going anywhere. <laughs> it's going to be this one. You've seen this a few times. This is a one of my vintage bags. This one. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wear it cross body because obviously I don't want to, I just want this to be the focus. So I will just be walking around the house with my phone <laughs> in my bag. And yeah, this is how I'll carry it. Another outfit, another day. Yes, it's a miserable day. It's raining at the moment. I always keep doing weather reports. I must stop doing that. I live in the north of England, northwest of England, and yeah, we, it's a lot of rain up this end. <laughs> so, but it's supposed to be clearing up later on today. So, um, my stay at home outfit for today is a black shirt that I have refashioned. I made it smaller. The t-shirt that I've got on is a Norling one sleeve t-shirt. I've had it for years and it's it's a bit um, knackered. It's a bit, yeah, it needs, let me show you. <laughs> Look, it's starting to come away at the seams <laughs> and that one too. So all you do is just get your collar and then you hide it like so. And it's fine, absolutely fine. <laughs> it's a very old shirt, I must admit, it really is old. But I just like the fact that it's black and white, so I do have to make myself another one. But um, yeah, this is the back. And I've got really long sleeves, and I'm wearing white jeans, and I'm pairing it with a pair of black shoes, but I will not be in there. I haven't got a handbag today because I've got a good reason. Um, <laughs> just because. I'll just keep my phone on, on the table. So yeah, so that's an app today. The makeup is just a very red lip, just to make it pop. And um, I've got the same jewelry that I had on yesterday, which are my black rings and my asymmetrical black earrings. I put my headband on. Um, I'll let you guess the reason why. <laughs> and yeah, I'm okay with the hairstyle actually. It's, it's yeah. I'm sure I'll do something different for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so 
that's my outfit for today and I'll show you the rest of it now. I've also got this pendant, this black pendant I've had for many years. As you can see, the shirt is not tucked into my pants and I haven't buttoned the cuffs of this shirt. I just love that style. And it's very casual. Like shoes with heels. And yeah, that is my outfit for today. Another black and white outfit today. And my white thrifted jacket. The shirt I have made, including the pants. And the pants, and sh no, you've seen all three outfits, three items before, yeah, yeah, I've worn them all before. I'm looking a bit of luminous white at the moment. It's not that white. <laughs> I know it isn't. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm also wearing a necktie and that is bringing the outfit all together with black accessories. So yeah, and I'm just wearing some um, platforms, shoes, asymmetrical kind of shape to my shoes and that's it. So I'm really coming down now. So here's my jacket. I put this button on myself. Put it back over like so. And I took my shirt in. And that's the back. And that's if you've seen these pants before, with this tapered pants with um, wedges. And that's it. So this is the last outfit of the week. And I'm wearing a blouse that I have designed, pattern drafted and sewn, including the pants. Yeah, you guessed it already. I'm a lover of pants. So um, these are a, a different one. We don't have any pockets on, but I'll come to that in a moment. Let me talk about this blouse. So I made this blouse, oh, what's about? I don't think it was last year, maybe the year before that, I think. I can't remember. Or was it the mushroom outfit that I did? Either one or, or, or the other, I can't remember. And what I, I am a, I am a lover of, of, of um, bows, so I do like bows. And um, this is a tie belt. I do have a video tutorial for um, doing um, a tie belt, so I'll put that in the description for you. And it has no fasting apart from a little invisible fasting, just to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't open out. And I am just wearing my um, bra underneath that. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, because you can you can actually see through this uh, fabric and it's statement sleeves, which I just love. And yeah, it's it's quite a simplistic blouse, blouse. And um, I do like I, I am a lover of two pieces, and um, whether it's going to be a skirt and a, a, and a top or pants and a top, more often than not. Um, so when I do get an opportunity to. Be creative, this is what I can come up with. And yeah, I do like it. So I'll bring the camera down so that you can see my pants and how well it goes together. And obviously I'm gonna put an image up here so you can get a full shot of the outfit. So makeup is a red lipstick, asymmetrical earrings. And yeah, I'm keeping with the theme of black and white. So white blouse and black pants. And I'm wearing, um, I think I wore these earlier in the week, maybe Monday, Tuesday, my shoes. Um, I don't have any accessories on. I wasn't gonna put my black earrings, but it's like, no. I just want the, the blouse to be the, <laughs> the moment to be like. And yeah, it has a slightly gathered sleeves. I do have a video tutorial on how to get the sleeves, so I'll also put that in the link below. And my pants has a flat front, so I'll also put that below as well. So I've been at three tutorials that you can follow through if you are doing a similar project. So yeah, here is the bow. And you can see the sleeves and the cuffs. You can see it's slightly trans transparent and the pants just above my ankles 
And these are the shoes that I wore earlier in the week as well. And these are a Georgette fabric. And this fabric, the blouse, is an organza type fabric. 